Last August 15, 2022, I got invited to a special event called Assessment of the Bangsamoro Regional Action Plan on Women, Peace and Security. I've been away for a while, so I don't have updates on this kind of events. But uh, one of my dearest friends know that I care about the welfare of the women and children in my community, so he invited me anyway. Back in my civil society days, I did get some things going on from helping my community, especially the youth in participating in training for good governance, down to how to properly order for a chicken joy. Anyway, the event was held in Davao City and was sponsored by the UN, the UK, and the Canadian government. It was a six-hour land travel from Marawi City via Maging Lanao del Sur to Davao City. At the hotel, we were paired, but my roommate, who is one of the organizers, arrived midnight. So, on the first day, we had some beautiful guests from the sponsors and, of course, from the Commission on Bangsamoro Women. We had a photo op with the guests, the background, and goals of the events was laid out. The Bangsamoro Regional Action Plan on Women, Peace and Security seeks to enhance the role of the Bangsamoro women in the implementation of the peace agreement in conflict transformation and the protection of their human rights in conflict and post-conflict setting. We had a workshop which we have to provide the activities of our organization from the past two to three years. That has something to do with women, peace and security. Security. The participants were divided into subgroups, Lanao Group, Maguindanao Group, and Cotabato and the Special Geographical Areas or SGA. Now, umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga beautiful ladies, nagbibigay at bilig na makamit ang kapayapan sa buong Maguindanao at buong Mindanao. Hindi ko na po siguro sasabihin ng maitang statistics ko, no? Kami po ay magre-represent ng aming nagawa since 2020-2022. Ang survey po ay nagsimula po actually ang survey is 2015. Para magawa po natin for the next generation as a good example. Yes. Yun po ang ating goal dito. Yun po ang advocacy natin dito. Yung continuity ng legacy ng bawat isa. Yung continuity ng pagpapalaganap ng kapalayapaan sa buong Mindanao. Maraming salamat po at salamat pa rin. Uh, from our workshop to kanina po, uh, yung mga reflection points na po ay um, lahat po nung sobrang daming activities and programs na ginagawa ng mga CSOs at mga NGOs in Lanao. Uh, at nakikita po ito na it contributes to Pillar 1, uh, especially in action point number 3. And reality, you know, because kapag government employee ka, you are entitled to overtime, you are entitled to uh, benefits that the JO or the contract service is not entitled to. Wala siyang overtime, wala siyang holidays, wala siyang unpaid ano, leave, leave of absence and all that. At doon po sa aming sa aming stakeholders, hindi lang po yung mga GDB survivors po yung target namin. We also target the barangay chairwoman po. Marami po kami mga uh, kinapasitate na mga kababalihan barangay uh, barangay chairman po. Uh, like sa UNDP po, they are supporting us in kasagi ng investigation. Nag-drop ang titilo in my person na ng uh, CISWAR agreement. Noong halfway na po, pinahanap ko yung laptop kay Mr. Bull at Hack. Sabi ko, Sir Bull, pwede ba to? Sinabi nila, approve. Mula noon, mula ng patayan na madalas nung sa amin. Hindi ko sinasabi na kami ang nagkagawa. Pero apparently, ganun, kagagawa ng babae. Kung di ba dahil sa may babae doon na gumawa yan, sigurado, hindi rin matibig yung pangalan ko. Sanity. Yeah. So, in Sanity pa rin po, we do so far. So, alam natin, no, na, ano, kasi dependent na yung mga kabaihan. But with the provision of the livelihood assistance, 20,000 na age po yun siya. Yung binigay ng MSSD. And hopefully, nandun pa rin ang monitoring coming from the MSSD and especially with the LGU po, kung saan nila napunta yung pera. And, at tinutulungan namin po sila. As with the building machine po, yung kanilang products, tinutulungan po mag-market ni LGU yun. And, minsan, tinitili ni LGU yun para na mag-event siya sa, ah, sa mga exposed natin. So yun yung interventions made by the LGU. Make sure po na itong mga kapatahihan na to may ma-provide po sa kanilang family, especially those 
competence, widows of, uh, widows of war, yung mga dependents po na competence na kumanaw na yung kanilang mga partners. Ayun, maraming salamat po. Magandang mga kaya. Kaya na pumupuno kami mga kababayan para magalo kami ng negosyo. Pagdada sa pang araw-araw kami na marapangay na alam ay kasi marami mga trabaho. Wala kaming ano, wala kaming hindi lahat na kayo nabis kaya ba. Ensuring and protecting a child's rights through sustainable and inclusive advocacy. So, um, we are a group of a youth in Lano Resource. Lahat po ng aming members are youth po who are at some point already being a door field uh, sa Lano Resource. So, saan po, from non-violent discourse, ang work po natin dito sa Philippines, nag-start na po noong 2007 dito sa Mindanao. So, while it is an international NGO, ang minute office po namin nasa Switzerland, we're trying to promote yung, yung sense of security among civilians. We try to imagine ano ba talaga ang peace and security for the community. Hindi yung peace and security na ang Estado ang nag-define. Yung tayo galing sa atin. Hindi rin led by the security na Estado but us as civilians. Tayo ang nangunguna. Uh, yung provision ng livelihood sa ating mga IDPs including yung home-based IDPs including the um, host community. Geographic area. Ito yung mga natapos na namin at saka ongoing pa processing pa na kasi nakalagay noon more on cooperatives lang. So, meron po mga areas na walang cooperatives pero may women organizations. Sana po, isasali sila, hindi lang po cooperatives kundi women organizations. Kasi lalo na sa mga rural areas, mahirap magastos at saka mahirapan sila sa cooperatives. So, they tend to have women organizations lang. Presently, we are uh, The first stakeholders are the new BLG officials, BPs, media, and GSWP, UN Women, MLG, BLG, and the community for of course. So, ito po yung mga initiatives ng the Lightning Day now, no? Baka pwede po natin isama ang Kota Bago si Pigo sa mga barangays na may mga conflicts na pwede tayong mag-conduct ng orientations about WBS. Hindi lang yung sarili namin na matuluman namin, kundi yung community na doon namin nakatira. Kasi may mga community, may mga tao po dito na hindi ito lahat liwag. Para sa nang kaalang-alang sa liwag. Pero yung action namin na matulong kami sa kanila. So, una is because of the mga NGOs, <laughs> nagkaroon ng training, it was good to know that the Bangsamoro women have come a long way. By the way, I didn't bring my camera with me as I didn't intend to vlog the event, but I realized I had to. So I used my phone to get some videos. On the second day, we continued the workshop and then this time we have to share what we like about the efforts that were shared by the different uh, organizations and what can we recommend to strengthen them. The inclusion of women in peace and order council, kasama po din dyan. Number of capacity development activities on women's leadership and participation. So, kasama dito yung nila ngayon. Hey, ma'am. Uh, number of all women community-based grassroots initiative on conflict transformation and peace building supported. So, yung iba po community-based na mga pag-organisa natin, baka dito po sa papa. And then, we have the Bangsamuro Human Rights under the bar, under the leadership of Attorney Lang Lang. So, iba naman yung dinidevelop namin dito ay yung mga kapabayan to engage on our electoral reforms. And then, the old model sa 103rd Brigade or the Marine Army ay nandun po yung multi-sectoral advisory council Pero, na naging party po tayo sa kanilang mga programa at kami po ang kanilang partner ng pagbibigay ng God sensitivity training sa kanila at yun yung nabasilan so ang mga kasama po namin are mga beneficiaries as the men and women marginalized sectors the second part of the event was called Joint Program WPS Inception Workshop and Consultation for Magindanao, SGA, and Lanao del Sur. That's August 19 to 20th, 2022. Still in Davao. This is the time where the recommendations were planned and how to really implement them. The outcome will be shared to the donors and hopefully they are okay with them and the participating organizations will have callbacks. Well, the focus of organizing and profiling so nag-conduct kami ng census and survey. Then, ang mga mga strategies, monthly meeting, 
supplemental guidelines with the MILG. Meron na actually draft supplemental. Doon sa supplemental guidelines na yun, one of the guidelines is yung support ng MLG, at least 2% of the GAD budget, support to the WCPDs. We already had a final draft supplemental guideline with MILG. Ang problema lang, hindi nag-issue kasi sa akin ng MLG because of the Madonna Soling. Sometimes, kung saan-saan kami tinatakot, kasi from the monitor na yung isang lado o sundan na nagsubong sa task, without the government verification for the case, itatakot na lang yan bigla. So, ano na lang ang nangyari sa isang aling aming polis na kailangan nila lang is tukunan yung pangangailangan ng isang biktima. So, sa akin po, sa hali ng kapulisan, but particularly sa lano, it would be a huge assistance if we have that kind of response. Kasi, parang ano na po siya, yung hindi po kami parang pasang sisyo na kung saan saan na lang pupunta. At least, meron po kami venue. Kasi pag nag-aroon pa ng isang physical facilities na we presume three stories, pati kami ng mga duty bearers, magpapagdi kami sa mga klalang namin. And then, same case with the ano, absence of mobile. Mangihirap na lang kami ng mobile sa ibang unit. Makakarinig ka pa. So, ang mangyayari, kami nagbahala kung paano namin ilalawin yung victima namin. So, yun yung mga behind scenarios na hindi natin nakikita na uh, nakakalungkot na nagkakaroon ng misjudgment sa mga kapulisan dahil ang usual na sinasabi nila basta mga probal, lalo na yung mga kagalano, kamal, ganito ganyan. No, you are certainly wrong. Wrong with that. Kasi alam po yan ang mga NGOs natin kung gaano ka-active yung mga WCP. But then, we are incapacitated because of a certain situation. But if that will be provided with us, then I don't see any reason para hindi po namin i-double up yung effort namin. Dahil kayo mismo, supportado kayo doon sa atikain namin. Ano ba yung ginawilkan doon is within the control of the barangay campaign. So it's hard for us to do it for that sa mga or establish our office because there's no participation of the BNGU. So I suggest, I suggest and request from the Bangsamoro women that this would be recognized, just a little note to the barangay captain that this would be recognized and they are not hesitant to support the women within the community and not be under control because we have different objectives. Kasi feeling nila, kasi kami lang sila, sila na. May isang barangay doon na hindi maalam ng may United Nations Women na sobrang hindi na mangyari sa akin. Ang first invitation, pinabalik. Nag-utos mo ng tao, pinabalik. Sabi ko, hindi ako po sa akin na maghintay ka ako ng tulang sa'yo. Pupunta ako doon, tinatang ko ng mga kais, kahit na nagpapalik niya. Ang natural niyang magsalaman sa mga kais, sila. Kung nakita ako, sabi sa akin, babo, tatuloy ka. Sabi ko, tutuloy talaga ako kasi nagutom ako. Sige, maglagay. Is WC kami, so ang ano namin, mahi hindi kami talaga o ano, hindi kami ina-accept ng mga barangay level since bar tapos national sila. So ang ginawa namin para makakuha kami ng data, so yung ano namin kailangan ay pinitrit namin yun. Kahit ano mang mangyari, importante yung data na gusto, makuha namin. Yes, ang isustain namin ang organization of our women council po as part of the WPS. Isustain natin ito because nabagin po sa programa na ipapromote at uh, isasari at uh, isasupport ang ating mga women organizations. And I think we have to map, magkakaroon po tayo ng mapin kung sino-sino yung mga women organizations natin na either be organized by the WPS and or organized by other uh, initiative. Di ko ba? So marami po tayo mga women organizations na nagoon. And then I think ma'am, uh, pili natin yan ni ma'am for those papers. O mapin natin sila. Generally, it was a good event. Although I wasn't able to share much because I'm not updated on what my organization is up to these days. All I know is most of our members are doing really well in their chosen fields. In my understanding, the major outcome of the event is that 
women should have a stronghold at peace building in their communities because they are able and willing to be an instrument of peace and security. Thank you to the sponsors and organizers of the events. This is my comeback to the CSO world and I hope I will be able to contribute much, much more in uplifting the lives of the Bangsamoro women. Thank you and see you on the next vlog. Bye! Asada.